Hello again, SG Beers. I'm Companion Wolf, aka Rob Wolf on Facebook. Welcome to another Smile Game Builder tutorial. There was no tutorial last week because unfortunately life became so chaotic that the entire weekend was just swallowed up and then the next thing I knew I had to go back to work. As many of you know by now I work nights so the weekend is really the only time I have to work on any tutorials. It doesn't give much of a window to really do anything as the entire process from start to finish can be quite time consuming. And I was planning on dedicating the next few tutorials to customizing and creating your own graphics such as windows and terrain, but I decided to defer them for a while and instead focus on some more of the requests and how to's I've received. There are quite a number of them. To mention a few, a crafting, fishing, gathering system, a fog of war effect and a combination switch lock. As a result, given that I have a limited amount of time to produce each tutorial, I'd like to go through each one and focus the tutorials on these requests and how to's. I'd like to start with a basic crafting system as requested by Zenwing, but to include a system of gathering, mining and fishing and so on. This will expand over a series of tutorials. I'll do these on and off over the next few weeks and eventually they'll be combined into one big crafting system. In the meantime, here's the intro. We're going to start with crafting recipes. I've created some preset events on all of the items, including an icon set, which will be used throughout this tutorial. The first thing we need to set up is a basic crafting table. It's just an event with the graphics set to um, table. I've pre-created the event to save time, but we'll still go through each one as part of the process in the event details. On sheet one, basically it checks to see if you have a recipe book or not. So we create a check held items branch set to our recipe book, which is here. And if one is held, then we can proceed. Under the yes, simply add a local switch turned on and then under the no display a message I don't have a recipe book yet perhaps I should look for look around for one first sheet 2 is the recipes at the condition where the local switch is turned on set the event trigger to one time only and then we'll add a, we'll add a display ticker which is under display messages instead of the normal message and dialog box with some recipes. Um, fried egg, one egg, omelette requires two eggs and the healing potion requires three lemon balm. And then down below, would you like to make something? Then we add a display selection. The yes, no options will only appear in the center of the screen after the text is displayed. It won't appear along with the message this is just the way it's been set up. Furthermore, you are limited to a maximum choice of four in the selection box, which makes a decent crafting system a bit more challenging, unless you use the fourth option to cycle through the options as I did in a previous tutorial. I can't remember which one offhand though. So, under no. which would be here. Um, we basically turn the local switch off. Otherwise, when you select a no option and try to use a table again, it won't work. Also, what this will do is if you can't create a recipe because you don't have enough ingredients, it'll go back to the main recipes list rather than you having to interact with the table each time you want to make something. Then under the yes, add another 
display selection with our recipes. In our case it would be fried egg, omelette and healing potion. The next thing to, to, to do is to create it where with each recipe the required ingredients are checked and you can make the recipes if you have them. Each recipe will have its own sheet. I don't really like doing it this way as I prefer everything just on one sheet which can definitely become confusing. So to make things much easier for us both in this tutorial I've put them on separate sheets as you can see. Starting with the fried egg, add a variable, in our case number zero, which I've named recipe, set it to one, Similarly with omelette, set it to 2, and with potion, set it to 3. The first one would be creating an egg. Creating an egg. I'm, <laughs> I meant creating the fried egg. So we add the condition where the variable recipe is equals to 1, and set the trigger to auto one time only. Now we can start checking the ingredients. The fried egg recipe needs one egg so create a, a check held items making sure that the egg when held is equal to one. Um, under the no display message you don't have enough ingredients and then under yes um, decrease the number of eggs by one and then add the fried egg. Add one to the fried egg and then display a message a perfect fried egg sunny side up and at the very end we reset the variable recipe to zero. Sheet 4 for creating our omelette is pretty much a copy and paste of sheet 3 except obviously we'll need to tweak a few details. The variable box equals to 2 and the number of eggs required is changed to 2. Subtract the number of eggs by 2 and add the omelette and then the display text nothing beats a plain omelette. And once again under the no we just keep you don't have enough ingredients and then keep the recipe reset. So for creating our healing potion for sheet 5 again sheet 5 is pretty much a copy paste tweak job the condition recipe should be set to 3 and the item check should be lemon balm with the amount set to 3 the number of lemon balms subtracted would be 3 and once that's done add a potion change the text this will help those aches and pains and then once again you don't have the ingredients the recipe is then reset. Obviously we won't get anywhere without the recipe book so we'll create one. I just used the default searchables dress require item and then change the graphic like so. You will then receive the recipe book so you can access the crafting table. For the ingredients we'll go to the start map, create a few chickens as I have done here. Um, it's just simply text is cluck the chicken laid an egg and then you'll get the egg. And then you can copy and paste as many as you want to propagate the um, chickens. For the lemon balm I just use the sparkle event which again is under searchables. 
right here, stuck with the defaults, and you acquire a lemon bomb. And there are three of them, one here, two, and three. And now we're ready to play test. Uh, right, crafting table. We don't have a recipe book. So, as we know, it's in the <coughs> shells there. Fried egg, one egg, omelette, two eggs, healing potion, three lemon balm. Would you like to make something? And then, no. So we can do it again. Let's try crafting a fried egg. Don't have enough ingredients. Okay. Let's go collect some. Uh, lemon balm first. Oh, we might as well collect the eggs at the same time. Chick, chick, chick. So that's one egg. Two. We weren't meant to see that just yet. That that's uh, we'll, we'll cover that in a minute. So now we have three lemon balm, three eggs, and so we can make the healing potion and the omelette and the fried egg. Back to the table. Fried egg first. A perfect fried egg, sunny side up. Omelette. Nothing beats a plain omelette. And finally, the healing potion, which helps those all of those aches and pains. Just to verify, one fried egg, one omelette. Uh, these are greyed out because I forgot to make them usable on the map. I think. Let's check. Usable on map. Yes. And usable in battle. And the same way. That's it. So what was that moonflower for? Well, the idea behind that is to have multiple ingredients for our potion. Instead of just having three lemon balm, we'll also need five moonflower to craft it. So we go back to the crafting table and in sheet two recipes, let's just add plus five moon flower. Then on sheet five, for creating our healing potion, we do a few tweaks. Under the no branch, we change ingredients to lemon balm. And under yes, add another um, it would be held items.
this time set to Moonflower. We'll just use Moonlight Flower instead with the defaults because I didn't create that. Um, we said we needed five. And under its no, copy that and paste it. And then change Lemon Balm to Moonflower. So into the text display mode and then we cut these three items and then paste them under the moonflower. Yes. Like so. Um copy that paste it and then decrease the moonflower by five and the rest can stay the same and now we're good to go for another playtest grab a recipe book enough lemon balm. So we collect again. You don't have enough moonflower. That's because we collected four. Now we're ready. And again, just to confirm, all the ingredients have been removed and we have a potion. And I think we've run out of time. As I said before, I'll continue expanding this on and off during the coming weeks for things like mining and fishing and pretty much anything else we'll need for our crafting system. If you found this tutorial useful, give it a like, subscribe for more tutorials, and visit me on Twitter and Facebook, as well as the official Smile Game Builder subsite I've set up. All of the links are in the description. That's it for another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.